Hello guys, and welcome to, um, Space Engineers. So, um, I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play series of Space Engineers. Um, Space Engineers is basically a, um, sandbox game, but there's a survival game mode, which is what we will be playing today. Um, Space Engineers is on Steam for about $20, I think. I got it on sale. 10 You gotta love Steam sales. Um... So we'll be playing survival. Um, let's call the world. Let's let's play because we will be playing. Okay, offline match players. I, yeah, I'd leave this as as is. This um meteor showers. I'll leave it on safe. Auto save. That yeah. Let's leave everything at realistic. Max objects. Put this up to about five hundred and fifty six. That's oh I had it. I had it. Oh, never mind. Okay. Limit world size. Unlimited. Cargo ships. Yes. Ingrained scripts. Yeah, we'll leave that on. Okay. Let's go. Change the world. Um. Are we going with asteroids? I like it. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And there's a little quote whenever you load a world or we'll create one. Every point mass in the universe attracts every other point mass, with a force that is directly proportional to the pr product of their masses, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Oh, look at that. Okay. Temporary ship. No, that's wrong. Because this is... Because it's the same design, but it's not... Oh god, it's pretty banged up. <sighs> um... I'm pressing V to go into third person view and then Alt to move the camera around like this. So we can see, yeah, got a lot of dents in it. Um, let's have a click, quick, um, quick inspection of the surroundings. Got some nice big asteroids over here that have a lot of iron on them. So I think we're going to go there first. We are actually drifting. I did not realize that. We have not got the dampeners on, so I'll just let it drift at about 10 meters a second. Should be fine. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I just had to shut that door there. Now, here we go. I um, mean, might want to speed up a bit. It's I'm not too worried about fuel consumption, to be honest. Um, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. But um, actually, you might want to fly in the asteroid. So let's just, yep. See, Newtonian motion. I love that about this game. There is a speed limit, so I guess it kind of is semi-Newtonian. But um, <gasps> oh, that was close. Okay, we're going in the asteroid. Nope, okay. There we go. We're in. So the first thing we're obviously going to want to do is um just get some fuel, really. I'm not sure if there is any here, but that light is quite useful. Oh! I'm hitting the bottom. On the... Oh, God. Well, I don't want to get lost in here, so let's just back up to the entrance. Um, no. Let go of all. There we go. Okay. You're holding. I'm holding. You get holding so many buttons with the view control and... You accidentally alt-tab out sometimes. It's one of the frustrating parts is about this game. But I'm just going to hover in over the auto or iron deposits, I guess. That's what they are. You lied to me. No. Like, you didn't. Okay. Just, oh my god. So fiddly. Let's see if I can, um, light. Interior. I guess it's an interior light. Inten intensity. That. It didn't really make it brighter, did it? It's gonna make the inside one brighter. Oh no, it did! Well, let's. Where is it? Interior, here we go. Okay, yeah, that's this light, the first one. Oh, 
keep missing it. Um. Don't know what that means. Blink. What? Oh, you can get it to blink. Like, trippy. Oh, Jesus. That's interesting. Anyway, once I finish playing around with the lights. Um. Turn off. Yeah, okay, there you go. Of course, that means the light's not going to work anymore. <sighs> wow. I've broken something already. Wait, what is oh, God. I just put a massive dent in the bottom of the ship there. Well done, me. Um, well, blink interval. I don't want the blinking. Can I just turn it off, maybe? Oh, I'll just leave it as 100%. I think that's... Yeah, okay, that'll... That'll work. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's clipping through. That's not intentional. Oh. Wow, okay. I thought, like, they'd put a light on the front and it was all useful. Nope. There we go. That's... There we go, it's nicer. Okay, so... The most basic, well, one of the basic mining ways to mine is just to um put the gravity generator up, and I'll turn the power down to like one because I don't need much, and just um open the door, and I'm slowly falling. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, just get rid of these on my toolbar. Um, character tools. Here we go. So, rather, the most simple way, really, is to just, um, yeah, uh, get under your ship, make sure it actually is iron. There's some platinum over here, that's quite useful. I like third-person view, because otherwise I get lost. And turn your lights on, and simply mine downwards. And col- oh god, the camera's gonna start clipping. Well, not clipping, but, like, running out of room. It is floating around a bit, because I have the gravity on very low. Um, and I'm going to start floating around a bit, which is actually quite funny. Um, but yeah, you mine like a little hole and then just chip away at the edges. So then jetpack on make this easier. And because it's a hole, and there's gravity, I gen it's genius really, it collects at the bottom. And is this platinum? It looks like it. Oh my god. Oh, right. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. Uh, this should be enough for now. It is platinum. Okay, cool. And, oh, inventory full. Okay. And then you've got to make the trip back and forth up here and collect all the stuff you mind. It's, it's, it's the beginning of Space Engineers. is always very, um, like this. Ferris. Um, I'm just going to put this here, these in here, because they take up a lot of space. Like about 120 liters, jeez. So a quarter of it in my drill. Now I turn, I turn the, um, where's the hole? I, okay, let's see if I can just move it across so I can it get up and down easier. <sighs> Just make my way over the hole. Come on! I am hitting something. Oh, now I am. Okay, that'll do. That's actually over the hole quite nicely, I believe. Yes, there we go. Look at all this. Yeah. Oh, God. So, um, once we get this iron, we might start making a, um, a, a station somewhere. I re cause, um, I recently discovered that with blast doors, you can have them move, like hang at like a hangar bay, and that is pretty cool. 
Because you can have like a massive door and a hangar and fly in and stuff. Doesn't sound awesome, but it is, you know. <sighs> but yeah, basically have a massive hangar bay, and we can keep keep a lot of ships and stuff in there. Have massive refineries. We're gonna make massive drilling ships, grinding like building ships, because the building takes a very long time in this game. Um, but if you build ships <coughs> with like grinders on them, speed it up. Kind of self-explanatory, really. Go pick up these. Oh my god. Low gravity gets so annoying after a while. Come on, pick it up. Wait, what button is it? It is T, right. Okay. So I'm putting these in the refinery, which basically turns it into, um... It refines the ore. I guess that's... Quite simple, really. Um, oh, it's gonna take a long time. Um, but yeah. So we might make this. We might make the station um, on this world, but um, most probably on a on a sep. I'm um, not world asteroid. But it would be quite nice to kind of fly, have the hangar bay at like the entrance to inside the um. Asteroid, like you have massive doors across here that open and close. Like that's that's the kind of thing you can do in Space Engineers, and it's quite pretty. Um. So if any of you guys watching this Let's Play here, sorry. Hey, sorry. If any of you guys want to watch the Let's Play here, I um will be uploading the world every 10 episodes or so to the workshop um yeah so I'll just pick these up Sis? Yeah. Could you be quiet? You're talking. Well, could you could you be quiet, please? Thank you. Okay. So yeah, um, just we're gonna go back and forth, picking up the iron. Oh, third person. Could you get very um disorientated because the camera is rotating around? There's no up. Especially with a jetpack, there's no, um, down. You get lost very quickly. But third person is also pretty, um, annoying. There we go. Oh, no, get out of that. There we go. Anyway. Hmm. <sighs> I'm not sure what the recipe for blast doors is. I think it's just a lot of iron. Like a lot, a lot, lot of it. But yeah, we um have a fairly large amount at this moment in time already, so that's good. Um, as you can tell, like this little deposit here has got us a lot of iron. But there's a lot of platinum, platinum nearby. Um, I believe platinum... I actually can't remember a lot of the crafting recipes. It's been a while since I played this game. Obviously, I've been doing the Let's Play with Nuclear Camel. And I um, decided to start my own. Because I can record more often than he can. So I can get more stuff done. Otherwise, it would be like a world tour. And yeah. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the blast door recipe would only be iron. But that's gonna look impressive. You have you have, have like a little button, you press it and the asteroid just opens up. Only problem is it would have to be a um, station and they can only be oriented the six different ways. 
with the like a cube. They can only be placed down that way. They can't be rotated. On like a station which can be rotated at like small increments. <sighs> which will if it doesn't line up I'll be annoyed. But um hey. If it does, it'll be quite awesome. Anyway. So yeah, I think I'll just I'll finish up this episode with the um fin with when I finish collecting the um iron and I'll have a look at the recipes. And see what else I have to get. Because a giant door is not one of our priorities at this moment in time. But it'll still be pretty cool to have, nonetheless. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go. Come on, let's pick it up. There we go. I'll have to get my welder out and repair a lot of these dents to. It does not look nice to have a very, very dented spaceship. Whoops, that did not go in, did it? <sighs> what button did I press? Tab. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I don't know the um, shortcuts as well as I used to. I've been playing a lot of Planet Side 2 lately, which tricks you because you press T in Planet Side to go into third person view when you're driving vehicles, but um, in this game T gets in and out of um, cockpits, it oh my, messes with your brain, I'll tell you that. Whew. Almost got it all. I quite like the starting ship, it's not too bad, um, it's like as you saw in the let's play I did. Other one, putting mining on equipment on the front is quite difficult and tedious, but rewarding when you finish it, because you can mine so much more with big mining drills. I think um, I'll most probably make a small ship, mining ship, rather than a large ship. Much less resources and fuel and etc. But we've got to find uranium soon, otherwise we'll run out of power, which is um not the best thing to happen. Oh no, not that one. There we go. The refinery is filled. We can turn off the reactor now generator because it uses quite a large amount of power. I might want to just back out of the back out of the station. You can see the inertial dampeners uh, kicking the jet jets on, but there you go. It's quite pretty. Um, okay, let's look at the um, glass doors. Huh? It's just steel plate. You know, a hundred and fifty or so, but. Compared to a light armor, which is 25. Oh god, 25. That's actually quite funny. Well, I don't think we'll be making a hangar bay this big. But just to see. Oh, and it wouldn't be even aligned the right. Actually, would it? Oh god, I think it would be. You could kind of put it here and build there. That'd be very cool to do. That's going to be one of the goals in this Let's Play. Turn this asteroid into a massive base. But for now, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. Yep, I'm loving the massive delay there. 
I'm just wondering, cause I'm gonna just guess how much, how many, re how much resources, how many, how many iron, how many blocks I'll need. Cause I'll have to cover this. Oh, it's gonna be a lot. I'll tell you that right now. But with the massive mining ships I've seen people make in this game, it would might take a cup, might only take a couple of hours to actually collect it. And if you're wondering what these little red icons that pop up here, because I have cargo ships enabled, they cargo ships will um sometimes come through. But with the new with the new infinite world infinite world settings with lots of asteroids, um there actually are stations that you can find. And we might go exploring out for them. And I've 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 been seeing this Taurus shaped asteroid there as well. It's like a Taurus. Cause Donut is too fancy a word for me. <sighs> anyway, folks, thanks for watching.